Hello, I'm Steve. This is a bit of munch, and it's nearly Easter. So, I'm going to review, review, I'm going to view them. There you go, I'm viewing them. And I'm going to review some hot cross buns. Sainsbury's Taste the Difference Sticky Toffee Hot Cross Buns. Hand crossed and made with a sourdough starter, limited edition. With sticky chopped dates and gooey caramel fudge pieces. And I tell you what, these smell so good. Oh, the toffee and fruit smell. Oh, it's really making my mouth water. Right, I've already cut one in half. There's what it looks like. I'm going to try half on its own, then I'm going to toast half and put loads of butter on it. Right, four, cro four hot cross buns made with caramel fudge pieces, dates and raisins. How much fruit is in these? 4.5% uh, dates, 4.5% raisins, and 9% caramel fudge pieces. And loads of other things, mainly all different types of sugar. <laughs> if you want to look at the traffic light system, there it is. Everything's amber. But then you don't really buy this sort of thing to be healthy, do you? Smell excellent. Right, let's just have a bite. Not really that familiar with the taste of dates. But that had a long piece of fruit in it, which wouldn't have been a raisin, it would have been a date. Tastes really nice. Right, this corner looks as though it's got loads of fudge bits on it. Toffee fudge, whatever it is. Caramel fudge, gooey caramel fudge. Mmm. <laughs> Very sweet. Very good. Butter. Right, I'm going to put butter on the rest of this piece. If I can. And then I'm going to toast half and put butter on it. Because, yeah, it's very, very sweet. I think the saltiness of the butter will counteract that and make it actually tastier. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, the butter balances out. The incredible sweetness of it. And it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh yeah. I can recommend these. Right. I'll stick you on pause. Eat the rest of that piece. Toast the other half. Stick some butter on it. And bring you back. Right. Toasted. Or rather, grilled. Because the top of this bun is so sticky... I figured if I put that in my toaster, I'd end up with a sticky residue on the inside of my toaster. And let's face it, that's not a good place to have a sticky residue, is it? So, I grilled it for a couple of minutes and then buttered it. <clears throat> As it was grilling, the smell coming off this was amazing. Okay. <laughs> That's the way to go. Why did I even try it on its own with no butter? I don't know why I did that. I mean, on its own, you know, untoasted, with butter was good. This is much, 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 much better. It really is. And I'll tell you the good thing about this. 
some of these limited edition special weird and wonderful hot cross buns don't have fruit in them, do they? And this one does. It's not just toffee, caramel, fudge. It's got the fruit as well. Mmm. That is definitely the way to do it. That really is. <clears throat> For some reason, when it's toasted, it's not as sweet. Which is actually a good thing. In my opinion. That is, oh yeah, wonderful. So, if you like a hot cross bun, if you like a bit of toffee, fudge, caramel sort of flavours, flavours, <laughs> um, get yourself Sainsbury's and grab them while you can. Limited edition. They're great. Right, that sounded really sarcastic, didn't it? It sounded like, oh yeah, they're great. <laughs> but they are great, honestly. Right, thanks for watching. I'll go and eat the rest of that. And see you in the next video.